This video is going to go over painting uh, simple and easy rust effects in a general fashion on terrain and scatter terrain. So I start off with like a mahogany prawn and then I'm going to start really quickly putting on Rhinox hide um, on the bottom part. And I'm going to wet blend a little bit of black on the bottom. And so this is kind of, I think, one of the best ways to learn how to wet blend and practice wet blending is to do it on a big piece like this that is really hard to mess up and gives you a lot of freedom and you can do it without worry. So, um, but this is basically going to kind of start the gradient going up. And then after that, I'm going to dry it um, because right now I'm holding it from the top and then now I need to hold it from the bottom. And then from the top down, I'm going to start with Doom Bull Brown and I'm going to put this kind of red oxide paint on it and basically do the same thing. Just layer it up real quick and to where it meets um, the mahogany and the black. And then from there, I'm going to start going back and forth between Doom Bull and uh, that Rhinox hide and blending those two together. And basically, like the cool thing about doing it on a big old block like this is you don't really have to worry so, so much about it. In the end, it's probably going to end up looking good. And as long as you keep working that paint together, you're going to get a pretty decent blend with it. And, you know, using a big old flat brush or something like that, too, is going to really kind of help you get the paint on quick and blend it together nice and quick, too. But it's also, you know, basically, at least for me, I learned how to wet blend by doing stuff like this is uh, just really big, general, broad things that kind of gave me the idea of it. And basically, um, it's just wet on wet. And if you've done this before, um, like I have with like, uh, painting or watercolor or something like that, then it's really easy to understand how to apply it uh, on a model. But if you haven't, then it's also really good just to practice with something that is really just going to be background anyway. So the next step is, is taking a sponge and you're going to take a sponge and start dabbing it and just dabbing, 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 dabbing everywhere. And uh, you can also wet blend this way too. So if you want to take a little bit of time uh, doing you know the black and all the previous steps with the sponge you can do that as well and it's going to give a really nice texture um, to everything um, but you know basically like doing this is is is, is uh, pretty cool and some spots you might not get uh, because it's in a crevice or something so you can just take your brush and get a little bit of paint on it and basically stipple stipple in those crevices um, and then so here is, is dabbing some more but a little bit lighter I think this is death call brown um, and so basically you're going to kind of go over and do the same thing, um, but you're just going to kind of do the heightened portions of it. And um, so that's kind of the basic, basic point. And then, you know, from here, uh, if you want, you can keep dabbing on a little bit more of a yellow brown too. And that looks really cool for dry rust. Um, but yeah, basically just keep going around the model and dabbing it, dabbing it, dabbing it. And then from here, you can leave it as is like this. Or you can use this as a base coat for like streaking effects or uh, salt chipping or anything like that. But you are going to want to clear coat it and varnish it before you go doing stuff like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as is for now. And I'm going to start dry brushing um, some lead belcher on here. And just using a big brush and kind of a light hand and just going over all these spots and trying to just basically hit the edges. And that's basically it. Um, so from here you can... You can go into like doing some hairspray stripping or you know some salt chipping and stuff like that but um, you know basically here I'm just gonna leave it like this for the time being um, so the next part is uh, basically I'm gonna show some different products that you can also apply to this if you want um, just, these are just the products I have but there's a load of products um, that you can go out and buy and experiment and play with and do all that stuff but um, they all look really cool like the streaking grime effect and you know adding washes or even some of that brown yellow to the top of it makes it look really cool but that's basically it i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get something out of it thanks for watching um enjoy your hobby and good luck